Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Andre and the fire is going. It's a nice early morning and we are doing another brisket experiment. And uh, I love doing these things. I hope you guys do too. And uh, today we are going to take beef tallow and inject it into the brisket and then cook it and see what happens. So the smoker is getting hot and uh, we're gonna go inside and prep the brisket. Okay, we've got our beef tallow here and I'm going to have to heat it up just ever so slightly just to make it more liquidy so that I can use this syringe and inject it into the brisket. And I'm gonna take the temperature because I do not want this too hot at all. I want it just liquid enough. And uh, here we go. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna show you there. As you can see, it's uh, all liquid. I'm gonna just leave it in there. I am gonna take the temperature. I just wanna be fully transparent here. And uh, let's see what we're doing. Give this a mix. So 20, it just hit 27 degrees Celsius, which is okay. But what I'm gonna do, everything, this is gonna be messy. I'm just gonna transfer what I'm gonna use to this little bowl. Because whatever I don't use, the beautiful thing about the tallow is I can put it back in the jar, put it back in the fridge and use it. But I don't wanna contaminate it with meat And I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need. Trusty needle. Let's... There we go. So I'm going to, like you normally would, you're just going to do like a, a grid pattern to try and get it all over. And let's see how this works. It's filling it. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm going to continue doing this and uh, see how it goes. Okay, got that done. So that I can reuse. This I'm gonna save and we'll actually use for uh, when we wrap the, t the brisket. So I'm gonna just wipe a little bit of this off. Or So hopefully I got enough inside the brisket. Uh, yeah, this is messy. So anyways, I'm going to use my normal rub, the ancho, garlic, pepper, and salt. And we're gonna very liberally coat this guy. Anyways, we're done this now. Let's go outside, get it on the smoker and get this thing uh, cooking. Okay, we're outside people. Oh, don't mind that other brisket. My buddy Brian bought one and he knew I was doing this today so I'm cooking it for him. So here we go, fat side up. We got the point end towards the hotter side. Oh, that's so messy with the tallow. Looks so good though, I can't wait. The smoker was at 250, so I'm gonna keep it like I always do, 225, 250. Uh, I'm doing it everything I'm going to be I'm always very transparent we're going to go for at least three hours and then come back and look we're going to do it exactly the same way I do all my other briskets I just want to keep it that way because I know it works and uh, yeah take it from there see you in a bit 
Welcome back everybody. We're just over we're almost three and a half hours and we're gonna take the first look. <laughs> that never gets old. Ah, uh, looking beautiful. Still has a long ways to go, but uh, that's what we got. Looks great, and uh, back she goes. Okay, everybody, it's wrapping time, and uh, I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom. Move you over, ow. I know, I, it's always windy when I do this. She looks beautiful. There we go. Bunch of tallow. There we go. Not wasting any time. It's going back in the smoker and uh, see you inside when it's done. We're back inside everybody. Nine and a half hours later, it's done. It's rested for about 40 minutes now and I'm gonna get it on the cutting board and we're gonna cut it. I'm excited. It looks beautiful. There's a, just a touch of juice there, which is good. Now I'm excited. We're gonna This and do this. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty juicy. Oh, let me get it right in the camera. Look at that. Nice juice. Mmm. Smells fantastic. Nice and jiggly. Okay. Let's uh let's cut a few slices. As always, we're gonna do this, you know. Woohoo! Hot. Oh look at that. It falls right apart. Mm. Awesome. Super tender. As you saw with the finger test, it held, so that's good. So it's not too done. Tastes good though. Now we'll do a few off the point. Okay, this side's really juicy. There again, pulls right apart. Nice smoke ring there. I don't know. It works, but can I definitively say it's better? I don't know. I'm gonna keep doing these experiments though. I love doing them and uh, I hope you like them. Sorry, with that being said, thanks for watching. I love doing these. Uh, I hope you guys do too. Leave me some comments and uh, below. I want to know what you're thinking. And now I'm going to go eat. Thanks for watching and happy eating.